Hello everybody, we almost made it the last part of my Asian Cup jersey review and if you haven't seen my first part or um, any other you might be wondering why am I wearing Australia. It's the only Asian Cup jersey that I have. If you've been following my videos of course you know I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this one. Um, and yes, here's one nation that would be the next one on my list for a jersey to get and we're gonna write, look right at them. Group F. We start off with Japan, who use, of course, their World Cup jersey, um, which has this weird samurai theme from the promotion in there. And yes, it does look like an armor. There are just some elements to it. I think overall, I came to like this one a lot more than when I initially rated it. I think I originally rated this with um, just six stars. When I look at it now, and even in play, it there is something special about it. I actually like that this is this steely blue, although I like uh, Japan with a little bit more uh, fuller blue tone, but I like that there's this black stripes and the white. It gives it some structure, it gives it some interesting things to look at. You have the color with the red, um, which just adds a little extra accent. Uh, the crest is nice. I never understand why we need the flag above the crest. That to me looks a little bit too much and I also would love if the pattern would continue onto the sleeves. I know kit regulations prevent this, but uh, to be honest, yes, the font is horrible, but that's all Adidas uh, jerseys um, in 1819. This one looks much better now to me than it was a year ago. And for that reason, I'm gonna even raise this grade uh, to a seven star jersey. I really, really, like this one i actually it has entered my mind as a jersey that i might potentially be getting there are other japan jerseys that i like a lot better but you know if this pops up at a reasonable price i think i would be willing to get it i however have not changed my opinion on the away jersey this is just as boring as it can get and you're using a very unique template that I only have seen so far on Japan and it makes nothing out of it. It's white with this gray three stripes that come over at the crest. If you remember in the early 90s this was a template that was rampant. It was the first Adidas, Adidas equipment line with the three stripes here and then in 94 they were also coming from below um, and so on. And this is clearly the reference here. Problem is Japan has not been wearing it. That's my first problem. B, many teams that had this um, Adidas template that did not get this now in 2018. So for that, I am already a little bit um, disappointed and sour, but then you don't make anything out of it. You just make it in gray upon a whitish or, you know, muddyish, um, muddyish white. It's kind of dirty white because if you look at the three stripes they are much brighter white so it's already a very light gray and then a darker gray and then you put the crests over it and it just disappears to me uh, it might as well not be there it's one of the most boring jerseys uh custom made jerseys that i've seen in a long time i absolutely dislike this one then adding the red on it it just doesn't add anything yes it is Japanese colors and 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 so on but to me this jersey does nothing it is just over designed for nothing and for that I'll stick here with my two stars it's really I hope we don't see this Japan should always play in the nice blue jerseys um, the second highest ranked team here is of course Uzbekistan and they have the Yako template that we saw on Iraq and I think we saw on Palestine and now we see it in white and blue. The home jersey actually looks quite interesting, white and blue, I like this, uh, I said it before. Uh, the crest in green sticks out a little bit, maybe you could have done something here, put a little bit more green somewhere in there. So yeah, uh, again the crest I think, yeah. I like the shape, but then UFA, that's a little bit uh, too simple and then uh, potentially a soccer ball in there. So I think if they would have used some other signage, I see here when we see both um, jerseys, there's a nice sign on the back, probably some coat of arms or whatever, that would have been really nice on there. 
maybe made more sense. So a little bit more green since it's also a national color and maybe changing up the crest would have made this better. But I think uh, the home jersey is pretty much a six star and the away jersey is a, a reversal of the two colors. Um, actually, yeah, pretty much the same thing. I would say it's, it's not offensive at all, but it's also not, not nothing special. But I think I like the white one a little bit better, so therefore I give this only a five star rating. Um, Oman, also Yako. We saw, we see Yako everywhere in this Asian Cup. Um, and this is a template that we already saw, I think, with Syria, but Oman makes a lot more out of it. Um, at Syria, I hate it the this, this line a band that separates the sleeves from the uh, rest of the jersey but here they make actually something special out of it first of all you have the red base then you have the white uh, with a nice color and then the green so you put all three national colors in there and since the green and the red kind of have the same type of shade it actually works and then the sleeve cuffs also come in in white and green so you have all the three national colors in there to make something special out of it. Yes, I still don't like this band a lot but here it looks a whole lot better and um, also they don't use a flag, they use a crest. Uh, we can discuss that but I think it looks over quite fine to me and for that reason I'm going, I'm willing to give this, yeah, if the sleeves were green, I all green, I think I would like this even better. Some, something like that. It's just some something about this band that doesn't connect to me, but it still looks much nicer. I'm gonna give this a uh, six star rating. And the away jerseys, the version of the Syria jersey white with the red bands looks actually better. And then again, the sleeve cuffs are really nice with the green and the red, and then there's also a tail in um, red. Um, honestly, this looks also pretty darn sweet, and I'm gonna give this seven stars ah not not seven six stars six stars as well uh it looks really nice uh and that leaves us with the last jersey and there's not much i can show you i only saw the green one which is the home jersey which is again the same template that we saw for uzbekistan we saw for iraq and we saw for palestine and now with the green uh in white but it makes a whole lot of sense because if you look at the crest it's also green um I wish there was a little bit more inspiration taken from the flag. Look up the flag of Turkmenistan. It's green background, but then it has this kind of carpet-like pattern uh, band going through it. That is something I would have liked to see reflected on the on the soccer shirt, like kind of a line running down here. Would have made this a really, really nice shirt. This way, kind of boring, but you know, not offensive. Better to use something like this than anything else. Um, I like the crest better than I did for Uzbekistan and I'm gonna give this also six stars. I assume the away jersey would be the exact reversal but I have not seen it at this Asian Cup and anywhere else so cannot uh, make say more about it. In any case let me know what you thought about these shirts. Yako Yako everywhere and no it's not Jaco it's a German band, uh, brand so I call it Yako. Uh, let me know which jerseys you like, which ones you dislike, whether you agree with my uh, bumping the rating for Japan. I feel quite strongly about it. That this jersey has grown on me. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon with something else. <laughs> Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.